What is it? How does it work? What's so special about it? Lena ke imibuzo sobe si pedo na mtanje ochele nle. Ishalo ga imibuzo na mwasinga mwashin kwa shamas kasi ni tsipa da seo kwa mbana mtanje skipa ma wat. Coming up next, Daba ku TOMZ. What exactly is nanotechnology? Dibana na atika loo kwasi yo butela betu nana banda ba kele kele. E CSI ya wakubwa nba loo kusebezi wa nanotechnology ba menza ya uti ni ganye ganye. Mm-hmm. Umwane some of the other cool things that nanotechnology has allowed people to do. We check out some awesome, awesome apps for your mobile. Mm-hmm. Get some inspirational words of advice from Abba Vagashbek ba namitanje ote lueni. Let's get this party started. Now we know that nano is small, right? But how small is nano small? Well, nande ya asbetu nana ba it's smaller than micro, which is already quite small but they have was not bear is that my sister but bear is but in there no it's small small kind of channel when you come on I'm sending them Julia I go for the name of noon Santa Numbula from Buddha nanotechnology is the smallest technology device it's the smallest technological device uh, smaller than millimeters Uh, it's more that it's smaller than a centimeter, right? Approximately one millimeter. I think it will create uh, a lot of storage in a lot of devices. Like um, it will make more space for other devices, like because it's small. I give a plan is very much no better. Right, Tony, they actually make me want to understand this whole concept of the nanoscale better. And also, if nano is that small, then how are we able to do anything with it? I know, right? Quite a bit, Nani. Why do we even care about this really tiny thing? Well, there's only one way to find out, and that is by watching it, Toms. I think we should answer a very, very, very important question. And what question would that be? Mozo Oti, how small is nano small? The term nano is often used to refer to small things. God we are that nano is an actual unit of measurement. So nano actually means one billionth of. So a nanometer would be one billionth of a meter. Now what in the world could be this small? Well, the hemoglobin, which is the protein responsible for transporting oxygen in your body, is 5.5 nanometers in diameter. So obviously the hemoglobin occurs naturally. We have nothing to do with it at all. But we have been playing around with nano manufacturing. Research is currently underway for nanoscale thin films that can make surfaces like your eyeglasses water repellent, anti-reflective, self-cleaning and resistant to ultraviolet or infrared light and even scratch resistant. Okay, manje singe abona, despite its size, nanotechnology is quite a big deal. Kote siya mna umbuza ni mbuza yonane, is what other cool things are geniuses out there doing in the field of nanotechnology? Well, to answer that one, we'll have to answer this one. Where in SA do you think we can find such geniuses? Well, the Tunani is a tetra about groundbreaking technology, Apa. So I think it will have to be... Yes, then. Run this thing for yourself. Your first boy is still on a mission by Fetsu Sekwang, a topic and I'm trying to in nanotechnology. Well, touch down a CSIR, so who's about to pass back on? We've got the Gatine nanotechnology, Ian and it's doing on it. You and me in this, go. Nguza Maswa Azungu Asha Balala. I was born and raised in Newcastle, Blaubosch. We are here at CSIR, the National Center for Nanotechnology. Okay, cool. So it's Chile Gabanzi, but it's Ian and it's in nanotechnology. Nanotechnology is a study of materials at a nanoscale. We cannot 
see it with our naked eye mm -hmm. and which we employ AMA objects such as microscopes okay. in order for us to see okay. such materials. Okay, so in the department, you can apply the technology there. Okay, in the department, we can apply its advanced materials for device applications, right. which means we use these nanomaterials mm. to produce devices that uh, uh, will be used in our industries in our everyday basis. Okay, okay. So such as, yeah. uh, currently I'm working on gas sensors, okay. which is part of my MSc project, mm -hmm. where I uh, use a metal oxide, mm. study it, study its properties, mm -hmm. such as its melting points, uh, temperatures, uh, electrical conductivity, and all that. Mm. Where then when I understand that, mm. I can now know how to manipulate it so that you can use it for gas sensing. Okay, so Angel, again, in which industry would this technology apply, be applied to? This technology can be applied to industries such as the automotive industry, okay. uh, mines, health uh, and safety. Mm. Uh, yeah, for example, uh, one of my colleagues mm. is working on a, a gas sensor that mm. will be used for analyzing human breath. Okay. And, be, and they can use that to detect whether the person mm. uh, has diabetes. Oh, so okay. there's a certain gas mm. that is there present in our normal gas, in our normal breath. Mm. So if there's a higher concentration of that certain uh, thing, mm. uh, they can then detect which you have this uh, kind of a, situ of a, of a situation and mm -hmm. they can tell you which is at an early stage or mm. if it's higher than a certain limit then they can tell you to show you are diabetic. Okay, okay. So um, other uh, examples can be mines. Okay. The challenge in my my explosions in my mines yeah. mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you find Guti and they don't know Guti there's a gas that is leaking. Mm -hmm. So the next thing, boom. Yes. Mind you, Babu Ako down there. So we, me and my colleague, Mm. We're working on a, a, a material mm. that we're going to use to sense certain cases. For example, you may think, yes, you have a device, maybe we help me to are busy digging, working. Then okay. if it detects, mm. gel, maybe mm. sounds an alarm, mm. you know immediately, I have to move from this area, move back to a safe area. Yeah. Cases like that are very, very dangerous because at a later stage, we told Utavantu they have pulmonary diseases, amalang mm -hmm. cancer and stuff, because mm -hmm. they will look at us in Hela, Gangani, Gangani, Benga Bodu, Uti, Inki. Okay, go on. This is from Jela about the material that you guys are working on right now. Okay, so since nanotechnology is a, has like a broad spectrum, mm -hmm. it's a mixture of physics, it yeah. needs your understanding of your chemistry, mm -hmm. uh, your biology, and all that. Mm -hmm. So, depending on your target, yes. what kind of a guess you want to sense. Mm -hmm or what kind of an application you want to use it at. So we use uh, semiconducting uh, materials, okay. metal oxides, okay. where we prepare them in, the, in, the, in, the, in this lab, where mm -hmm. you mix maybe your sodium with your whatever uh, metal oxide, mm -hmm. and you synthesize that, stay them so that to be homogeneous. Mm -hmm. You put in a microwave so that you create a homogeneous mixture, which is some sort of your, that's where your reaction actually happens. Okay. So your okay. final product, uh, for me, my final product, it's in powder form. Okay, okay. Since it's nano, I cannot see with my naked eye what, mm -hmm. whatever structure I have there. So yes. you, with the help of a microscope, I can see you guys have created tubes, particles, mm. or whatever structure. Mm. It can be either be in 3D or a flat surface like a, a, a sheet. Yeah. So mm -hmm. in that way, it also helps with sensing your apple. Why? Because the more surface area you have and mm. the more porous it, it is, mm. it absorbs a lot and it easily detects. Okay. So those are all the aims. SCS is in this phone with email. It's a really to me, even about like, it's a porous. You be in the surface area cool, and then also you be stable. Okay. By stable, my mind is gashi, guys. Mm. So if you make a real like it has a low melting point, it's mm. running king because at a higher temperature mm. it won't function. Okay. So it must be stable. Okay. And also the results you get here at the lab mm. must be reproducible so that this was what you can do as more as we can. Okay. So. Okay. Hi, boy, I'm to Abatan to Hi, guys, I'm going to. Do they even take a break from being so groundbreaking? I don't know about them, but I know we do. So let's speed up right after this. Check out some other cool things that nanotechnology has allowed us to do, all this and more, right after this. Terms. Terms. So I'm going to have a when it comes to science.
and the technology. See, I'm cool, guys. Tonight, Tata, you're roofy. We say pass it down. Come here, brother. Jalo, with your amazing host, your boy Sia, and your girl Obongi Sipo. Oh my God, Sia, come back again. Come on, let's play music. Teenagers on a mission. Why is the phone ringing? Hello, welcome, brother. The SABC what? Zanzi, for sure. It is specially brought to you guys at home by the good guys at the SABC Education and Zanzi's Department of Science and Technology. Now, let's not detect any thing about this wind. But my intro and you come to that cool about the whole science and tech world is that the biggest and most groundbreaking innovations or advancements are becoming smaller and smaller like it's in the industry. Crazy, right? I mean, you find something that's smaller than my head having better capability than something bigger, bigger than this studio, for instance. Okay, wait, wait, nine. But I guess it's the power of your science and technology. Tell me now, I can give more examples, more, more, more of your technology. This is fun and You know where to find us, right? But the one man, I want to go back to our very special place where changing the world as we know it is just part of their job. Let's do just that and go and learn more about this nanotechnology. Check it out. I work at Mintech as a scientist. I fall under the BioLabels group, which we deal with uh, diagnostic kits. The main ingredient in our diagnostic kit is called nanoparticles. So in this room, it's a synthetic lab. This is where we make our gold nanoparticles. The reason seven cycles is because it gold in a properties is the right for in medical uh, devices. One, it inert. So I go, we, we react, we react to certain proteins. I, I react in this new And number two, it is affinity for e protein. So ulula ufaga e proteins ne antibodies go. And also ne size the ayo. I buy it in a nanoscale. So it was ukuma through the membranes with diagnostic kits. Diagnostic Kits are uh, the kits that you will find in a clinic with a doctor or in a hospital. Well, they are more important because you get your diagnostic in 15 minutes. Sitila mostly with the infectious diseases. So, if this is in the this is a malaria, the HIV, the TB, but there are also the animals, rich belly, uh, fever disease. In any particular, besides in the yeah, cold, that is the end Cold, lay earrings, is a e cold, ginger, yen, and then see ten into e salt. Then once e bay salt came over, see that is dissolve a man's in, and then see a game of e reducing agent. Then e process game of is our ginger, that reducing agent, e ginger e oxidation state gold. Then e ginger game of from yellow to this color. Lapo is synthesized upon the gold and particles there too. And then, as I said, we have to be using the size of nanoparticles that since that is a regular lab, we are going to be production of e diagnostic kits in the cocoon. This big regular lab, after the lab, the lab process of cocoon is a diagnostic kit. So, in the morning, so we are going to be using the nanoparticles to use the human lab product in. So, the color, the membrane yet, yet, the membrane yet, we are going to be using the cocoon e protein yet, the antibodies or any antigens. These antibodies. Antigens, this is for men like I'm Zimbabwean woman to buy petrol C4 and this or as the Sebenza play it who call it over unayona as the C4 now ganja onas so the color C4 gets zona we membrane. Sine long chini lo une camera and then also una le screen. So uba lege ngando long chini uba we are snatch uba si kwa zuba uba e lines is it una zira itina. The size is if you know na kubaga logo sensor e medical kit so nega equality yazo ibe peso so le camera le na ingwe tisango ba i i i join ke ba as lines as fakileyo as antibodies as antigens si sheli kago shena and then we are going to use bona a part of the screen as the membrane iamb. That's why it's totally go this step. It's blocker in membrane. Yeah, to get it. Yeah, buffer tank. I put it for a corner. The cocktail buffer. Yeah, to. This is our to essence. But it blocker in membrane. It but as in yeah, it proteins whether antibodies or antigens. Zinga guazo atacha ukule membrane. Senzela ukuba ikiti yeto ibe specific. If kutoa HIV, it detected the HIV. Mwa biko as in yezindo as is our interference with it. Obubom bula pa kule membrane. There's the gold particles. This is the fagileo. This is the gold. 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 Gold
lomchini kusebenzela ukudibanisa eza membrane besifaka kuzo hii antibodies kuzo lamchini unga payana. So lena, ilena sispraye kuyo i gold nanoparticles. Le pakati, ile membrane besispraye kuyo i antibodies. And then lena i membrane kutuwa i weak pet. Isebenzela uba ikuwa zuba i move i gold nanoparticles zise kui membrane. And then isale isi singapa. So long chin usneta uba zonge is membrane sizi tibanise si pume zi into e one ele cut inch. I kata ia kata ele kati ibe zizi strips. As kabile si tata ge ngoku esi stripu sizi fage kui cassette. Klapo ge ngoku ufumana i kit inch. There are various ways on manufacturing using nanotechnology. Now they all fall under two approaches, either top down or bottom up. Now as the name suggests, top down involves working from the top of a template and basically carving it into what you desire. The bottom down method involves building products by building them up from atomic and molecular scale components. Now one of these methods is the atomic layer epitaxy, where one atom thick layers are deposited on a surface. Yo, the CSIR never ceases to amaze us. I mean, the work they do, guys, is phenomenal. Here's the journey, Buzan and Pelutu. What will be the next big thing since nanotechnology? Yeah, we'll see you guys. I see you really enjoying this play on words, aren't you? Of course I am. I mean, one play my word. Guys, as you know, let's all play a game and join in on CS Fun. Eh? Why don't you guys at home let us know what will be the next big thing since nanotechnology? Hashtag next big thing. Don't you hit us up on Facebook, on Twitter, and even on Instagram. We take a quick commercial breaks in us of one of our local. I get my famous way that we go back in time with this one about the evolution of nanotechnology, get some useful nanotechnology apps, and get some cool advice from all in our purposes and I'm trying to stay tuned. We are coming back right after this. Charms. Charms. We are back by Fetu Net Ganjala and Itonzi Nkretu Moya and you're still tuning to the home of science and technology in Mzanti. Hello guys, it's Nani the one and the only to MZ up on SABC1. Zanzi for shout. Proudly brought to you by the good guys at the SABC Education together with Mzanti's Department of Science and Technology. Now, Mzanti, I'm going to tell you that you're going to be able to learn the science and nanotechnology. Because you've found quite a lot about it. We've even questioned what will be the next big thing after nanotechnology. Yes, the one thing though that we haven't questioned yet is what was nanotechnology? technology before in nanotechnology was in nanotechnology. Well, what Miss Ever So Poetica is trying to say is, where does nanotechnology come from? Back in the 9th century, the glistening ceramic glazes used in the Islamic word contained silver or copper or other metallic nanoparticles. Now, between the 6th to the 15th centuries, nanoparticles of gold chloride and other metal oxides and chlorides, gold and nanoparticles were used to create rich colored stained glass windows. Now these also acted as photocatalytic air purifiers. Fast up to the year 1989 when Don Igler and Erhard Schwitzer manipulated 35 individual axon atoms to spell out the IBM logo. It's only in the 20th century that this technology was applied to consumer products. Now for instance, car bumpers that resist denting and scratching, wrinkle and stain resistant clothing and improved displays for televisions and other displays. Now we've seen some really cool things that people are actually able to do using this technology. And there's a promise of many more cool things to come out of their research. There's a lot of room for young geniuses like you guys at home to actually get into this field. And since it's said that you guys are always looking down at your phones, OMGing, lolling, we thought why don't we find some awesome cool apps for your mobile devices just to get you more clued up on nanotechnology. Want to learn more about nanotechnology, then you gotta check out nanotechnology app that allows you to do just that. Lab Planner contains all you need to know about this field in an easy to read format. Or maybe material sciences for you, where you can learn about all sorts of materials, including material made up using nanotechnology. How awesome is that? So when I've been watching the show and now you want to get into this groundbreaking technology. You want to be part of this next big thing, and who knows, maybe the next big discovery in nanotechnology. God, Dumbuza, OTC, yeah, what career would actually allow allow you to do this. Well, check this out. A mechanical engineer works in a very wide field. Now this includes mechanics, fluid mechanics, and even nanotechnology. Now a big part of this job is doing a lot of research and analyzing a lot of data. 
Now to get into this field, you need to study maths and science in high school. You will need to study a bachelor in mechanical engineering for about three years to get your degree. You also need a minimum APS of 32. So take the advice, go out there and achieve your dreams. Just like Abba Vagash with Namshan Jibinzi. So from India, as I said, just to give you even more inspiration to go out there and do what you need to do. Uh, high school level, it has to be your science uh, thing in the field. Physical science, life sciences, mathematics, not math literacy. And uh, if you have geography, it's also for your good advantage. Unfortunately, there is no application form 80 uh, BSc in nanotechnology or diploma in nanotechnology or what's not. You have to start to be undergrad doing your BSc either in physics, chemistry, biology, microbiology, biotechnology. And then from there, on your honors level, you can choose a project, yeah, a material science. And then on your masters, then you can focus on nanotechnology. Aba fundi, aba nom chakui science, kof nega eskoleni, bente i physical science, i biology ne mese, kabe kaba imetrikia bo, ba ya university, mwafika a university, wenze i PSC, oka nye i engineering kense, kona ikala le medic le medicine, which is up in the science ayo apa i medical devices, also banga enza ne engineering, kwe kwenzo ne physical metallurgy, isebenza nge metalsi. Also by Genza, ne hydrometeorology. The Ninzi is in the home to announce the end of the science. Okay, to solve science, you need a match. Okay, so I'm cool now. But first, we have a fun fun. I'm going to join. Hello, my friends. I'm going to Facebook. Join us on TOMZ. Go Twitter. Go at TOMZ underscore SABC underscore one as well as Instagram. So go Charms TV underscore SABC one. So to Facebook, so to Instagram, so to Twitter. Zonke bonke zanas. No matter how many times this happens, I just cannot get used to this part of the show. Yes, when I say I know exactly what you mean. Guys, we're having the time of our lives, doing a lot of cool things. Then out of nowhere, I'll my pen, eh? But luckily, it doesn't have to win a bongi sipone because the conversation still continues on our social media platforms. Facebook is called at OMZ, Twitter at OMZ underscore SABC underscore one. As well as Instagram, Times TV underscore SABC one. Mm-hmm. And join us again for another fresh episode of TOMZ. Someone on next time is Nanoka Moku Baba in Nako Glande Lion, the Scottish Land Allow with TOMZ. Get magnetic with us as we dive into the world of scrap metal recycling. Tola Gabanti about where trash comes from and where it goes as we speak to some hardworking Mzanti citizens. Meet the most incredible dude who built his very own flying machine and discover the wonderful process of recycling scrap metals. Do not miss your MZ every Monday and Tuesday at 4 p.m. right here on SABC1 in Zanzi, for sure.